This video is going to be notably shorter than the ones I normally put out because it's not focusing on a tool in general, but one thing you can do with one of these tools. In fact, uh, I covered the trim and extend tool in another video, but in this one, I'm going to show a little trick to getting multiple pipes connected into a host pipe like this one here. So if we click the trim and extend multiple elements, and you have to use this one to pull this off, we'll choose the face, and you can, as I showed in that other video, click on these one at a time and get what you want, or you can use a crossing window, such as this, and it will connect right over into the host pipe. However, uh, I will caution that you know I, I'm using the generic Revit fittings, and these are capable of flexing into about anything, even something pretty unrealistic. So if you have something, say like uh, this, where we're seven foot six, this may make the connection, but you'll notice there is something different here. So just be very aware, as always, what you're asking of Revit, whether it's directly through Revit's tools or any sort of add-in, be very aware of what you're asking. That way there's no real surprise uh, when you get your results.